this side is actually the first act, the, the first size. Even in your case, the building is actually the first size. So once you are done with the, the, the structure itself, then you move it. on the side of KPS is as a museum yes. and the Bwana is the curator of the, the curator. of the building. He's also working with the National Museum. Uh, Julius is also a, a colleague with uh, Bwana and, uh, and, uh, and Robert. has a historical significance, especially for, 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 for maritime activity. Uh, the, main, the main idea of uh, this museum is uh, to showcase the maritime activities along the coast of Kenya, from 15th century to that. That, was, that is our message. So when, when you talk about maritime, there are two, three important aspects, two, three important elements that you need to, to showcase. One is the ocean or the sea, how much they like. Number two, uh, who use it. Number three, the, the vessels. These are the very uh, three key elements. That is the, the primary tool. Yeah, your line of sight. Uh -huh. the vicinity. Your vicinity, yeah, as far as you can see. This, yeah, this uh, place.
have uh, the controllers uh, coordinate well with the pilots. And uh, we have uh, basically the equipment that we maintain. Uh, group them into four. We have communication, we have navigation, we have surveillance. Uh, we also have uh, process processes. Those are integrating many other systems. We have auxiliaries. So this is the control tower where we normally here uh, we control aircraft or the controllers here are supposed to control aircraft that they are able to see. The ones that maybe are just training, doing circuits, even the departures and arrivals. Arrivals when uh, they are transferred from uh, the office below, they are the radar controller. When uh, the, air, uh, the aircraft has field vision or the airport in sight, he is able to see the runway, the airport, then he transfers that aircraft to tower. So he advises tower that have released that aircraft to you, so continue with it until the aircraft lands. Again, when we have a departure, uh, that aircraft will be controlled by uh, the aerodrome controller here until it is airborne, depending on the, on the destination. We have aircraft, this on uh, this truck, others on that, they are already separated. Mm -hmm. So what you need will contact this. They are the radar controllers on duty. The two of them. They okay. So when uh, the aircraft starts up in tower, the tower controller, we call him aerodrome controller, will advise uh, the radar controllers that have an aircraft that are starting up uh, for maybe Nairobi or whatever the destination. So these people again will call Nairobi. We have tie lines. Yeah? You just call Nairobi and advise him that uh, Mombasa have an aircraft that has started up for Nairobi or London, whatever the destination. So then the Nairobi person will uh, give the clearance that that aircraft has been cleared. He is able, okay, he's been allowed to fly to a certain, maybe it's Nairobi, a certain position. Why we have this thing is that uh, the first reason is that uh, first of all we don't have a permanent town and this airport was uh, started just last year. So now just just because uh, we don't have a permanent tower, we decided to bring this uh, mobile one. And this mobile one needs to be to operate from uh, other areas like uh, Yeah, so, so it was not uh, procured being meant to come to Ukunda. Yeah. It was procured as a mobile tower, but the first need appeared here because it was realized that we needed case, case here, we needed to come in very quickly because of the increase of traffic it is in. So, so after we put up this uh, permanent tower, it's going to be taken somewhere else. Yeah. I understand the last time I checked, they said it was the best in Africa. Uh, her pilots are actually grateful, mm. the community is also welcoming, and we are looking forward to providing air traffic control. Uh -huh.